Hello Scorpio and welcome to your timeless love reading. Thank you so much for joining me and of course thank you for your patience as always. Okay Scorpio, so I'm going to start by picking the energy supporting you in love right now. So this is just a little bonus reading before the May readings that are coming out next week. Scorpio in love. Okay, we have the Hermit. So what I love about this card is how focused it is on the present moment. So there's a lot of acceptance, knowing that we can't change what happened in the past with someone or in a relationship. Um, not necessarily focus on what's going to happen in five years, but right now in the present moment, where the lantern can guide us, quote unquote. How are we going? How are we going to make the best out of what we have right now? So there's a lot of acceptance. This is Virgo energy. It's a grounded energy. It's strategic. It's careful, but it's also a lot about self care. Like what makes you happy? What feels good for you? It takes a lot of courage to choose what's good for us. So there could be something in the past that is still very present in your mind. We have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So with the Five of Swords, there could have been a situation where someone made you feel like you were the problem. Someone made you feel like you weren't good enough, like you said something to them that kind of mess up the relationship or whatever. I feel like with this card, Someone made you feel a certain way, but it's not the truth. Swords are not the truth. They are the brain, how we feel, what we think, but usually it's not the truth. So I think that you're getting out of that, getting out of this energy of feeling like it was your fault, because I don't think it was. A lot of acceptance, maturing, um, and I'm hearing moving on. So we'll see. It feels like you're realizing that what you have is so much more powerful, important, and better. It's better than what you could have had. Tell me what we need to know for Scorpio. Scorpio. We have the Ace of Swords and the World card that flew out of the deck first. So again, you had to move on. You had to let go of something. A chapter ended for you. And this is a love rating. So it could definitely be about a connection. Maybe you've been holding on to someone from the past, wanting to give it a chance, wanted to see what was uh, possible with them. But something happened or something just didn't happen and never happened the way it could have. So your perspective changed. And now you're giving yourself the chance for a new beginning, either with someone else or just with yourself, you know, enjoying time that you have with yourself. But I feel like you're freeing yourself from something that has been <sighs> keeping you kind of dwelling on the past. I think that you had enough. And it takes a lot for a Scorpio to either cut you out of your life or move on from you. I feel like a lot of people say about you, Scorpio, that you're the one who cut out everyone. And it's just not true. You guys are faithful and really devoted in friendship and relationship. It feels like you accumulate a lot. And at one point when it's over, it's just over. You have to protect yourself. Okay, so with the Ace of Swords, there's a new beginning, of course. There's a new perspective about something. And I feel like it could be a perspective of where you want to be in the world and what you want to do and what you want next. Starting to plan something, Nine of Swords. So with the Nine of Swords, I feel like in your mind, there's still a lot of attachment from, you know, to this past person. You've been in a battle, I feel, between what your mind wants, your soul wants, your heart wants. And it's not easy. It's not someone that you can just completely forget about. 
because there is a, a huge, huge, powerful connection here with a past person or someone that you haven't talked to in a while or there's just like this uncomfortable feeling. I think that you could be dreaming about each other, thinking about each other, daydreaming and always wondering what could have happened between the two of you. Um, so a lot of questions like what are they doing? Are they still thinking about me? I don't know if it's you or them that's thinking about that. But with the Nine of Swords, I know the feeling comes in waves. So some days you're like, I haven't even thought about this person today. And then the next day you're like, oh, they're still very much present. They're still very much in my heart space. But you're slowly moving on from that energy. And I don't know if it was uh, an un unhealthy attachment I don't feel like it it was the best for you mentally. And I think you know that, definitely. Because what you have now or what you're about to have is so much more comfortable, grounded, and healthy, healthier, definitely. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So something that is rooted in the present moment. Let's not ask ourselves too many questions about what's next. Right now, I feel good being with you. So I do feel like there could be a new person coming in or that you already have someone else in your life. Someone really precious, someone devoted, faithful, they are committed. And no matter what, they want to be with you. I'm not sure they know the whole story, though. I don't think they know 100%. Um, what happened between you and this other person and how special, intense it was, I don't know if you're necessarily open to share that. And I don't know um, if you have the words to express how this other person made you feel in the past or recent past. Again, they're still pretty much on your mind. But a part of you knows that this... Yeah, five of wands, three of swords, like the cards took the word just out of my mouth. You know that this situation was, I don't want to say toxic because I feel like toxic is like really intense. Um, communication wasn't easy. A lot of, a lot of feelings of, you don't know what I'm thinking. I wish I could express better how I'm feeling and how unfair this all feels. Like there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of frustration because at the end of the day, you know that there could have been something really powerful with this other person. You know that what you had with them is, is magical. There's something here definitely really, really special, but there's acceptance. I accept that this might've been a lesson, and I hate saying that, but it's true. Um, and everything that's in your life, again, in the present moment, is gonna feel so much better, more comfortable, more special, because you're changing your perspective, your focus on what you have in front of you. I feel like for a while it was hard to focus on what's here right now. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and King of Cups in the reverse. Of course, this is not for everyone in the collective, but you haven't been feeling your best self when it comes to your emotions and love right now. Especially if you've been thinking about this past person a lot. Again, it comes in waves. Some days you're doing amazing and some days you're like, do I have to speak to them? Should I have this difficult conversation? Will it bring me release and healing? to finally communicate with them in a mature way? I don't know. I don't think the both of you are open for that. There could have been a lot of, you know, game playing and manipulation um, between the two of you. Again, I feel like it wasn't necessarily healthy, this connection. It was passionate and it was special. I don't feel like it was so healthy. With the King of Swords here, there could definitely be some type of communication between the two of you. 
wanting to come clean and just be clear with each other, wanting to tell them the truth. And I feel like it could be the same for them. This could definitely bring a lot of healing. We'll clarify, Scorpio. I need to clarify. This is not an easy situation. And I feel, again, like there's still a lot of pain attached to this connection. There could be unfinished business. And this could keep you from focusing 100% of what you have in front of you. And especially if you are single and kind of looking for love, you might not be seeing what's in front of you because your mind is busy. Is <sighs> busy thinking about something else, something that could have been, but it doesn't exist. That's the thing. It feels like it's kind of a fantasy, kind of daydreaming and again, dwelling on the past. You're just a human being, you know, give yourself a chance. It's definitely unfair, frustrating to not have answers and not know what the other person is doing or thinking, what's happening. It feels like there was never really a cut or an ending. It was just silence. Like, we don't know what's happening. Tell me more about the world energy. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So you know you have to let go, but emotionally you're still really attached. And it feels like you know at one point you will come back to this energy. You don't, maybe you don't want to accept it. Maybe right now it's not even a possibility for you, but you definitely want to go back to that energy and know what's up. I think that a part of you, maybe your ego, again, you're a human being, don't get offended. Um, and it could also be that other person. You both want to know what's happening with the other person, even if you know deep down this might not be the best thing. There is a huge call for a clear ending, a conversation, something that needs to end. Again, it's like just silence. It's still on hold and it's keeping you from evolving to something better. Have the Six of Swords in the reverse and the Queen of Wands. So again, you're, you know you're supposed to let go, but you're still manifesting them back. You're still calling them in. Again, it could be them doing that. It could be you desperately trying to move on and cut the cord energetically but this person is still manifesting you and you're feeling their energy because they are really powerful you are powerful but this person is definitely powerful and the connection you have with them is is kind of magical it's like it's mysterious. We don't really know why, but we think about each other a lot at the same time, dreaming about the same thing, you know, listening to the same song. I don't know. It feels like the connection that you have, it's special. I don't know if this was a karmic partner, Scorpio. But again, there were lessons to learn. And I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like you're done learning from this specific connection. You met them for a reason. And it's not necessarily that they have things to th teach you. It's the whole situation making you realize a lot of things about yourself about your relationship with love, with patience, and also with your spirituality and with how powerful your mind is. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords here. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the timing hasn't been right between the two of you and that is something that you both feel. Why didn't, why couldn't we make this work? It's because the timing was never right. And it's going to come to a point where the timing feels right to communicate. 
And I don't think you're going to second guess yourself. You could be sending a message to this person. You could receive a message from them. I feel like you're both really intelligent. And yeah, the passion, the attraction, it took over a lot of the times. But I feel like taking time away from each other, not speaking, it's helping you get to the point it's helping you see clearly what needs to be addressed so there's definitely going to be a conversation i feel like it could be changing the course of this whole story you know how to surprise each other that's the thing but again i definitely feel intuitively like there's something that is waiting for you or is there in your life that you need to pay more attention to but you can't just move on from this past person. There, there's so many things that needs to be addressed. So three of swords. We have the seven of swords again. So seven, seven, seven. Um, there could be ha something happening on May 7th. I don't know if it's this person's birthday in seven days, seven weeks. Um it could be July, but there's something about the number seven. So definitely pay attention to that. The seven of swords is how we are telling ourselves that we're not good enough, that we're not ready, that we shouldn't do this or that, that we need more. And it's always coming up for me, the seven of swords, when something external shouldn't be so important we need to get back to what's what really matters what's here in front of us right now we have the moon in the reverse at the bottom of the deck um so sevens are an invitation what do you really want why are you so attached to this past person where does it come from is it your ego is it because you truly can't accept that it's not going to work between the two of you with the star, you're still hopeful. You truly want to believe that this story isn't over. But again, there's so much confusion. It's a battle between your ego, your mind, and your heart. A constant battle. I don't think it was ever easy with this past person. It was never easy between the two of you. You guys are two really powerful beings, two really like intense, uh, emotional people. And there could have been a lot of fighting, a lot of misunderstanding, but the passion is just, it's on another level. And it, it, it brings up a lot of curiosity. It brings up a lot of, you know, wanting to see how it would be. But again, the confusion between the mind and the heart. We have the four of swords in the reverse. I definitely feel like it's not over between the two of you. And you might be so fed up of hearing that, but I think that you know. I definitely feel like you know this isn't over. And this could bring up a lot of frustration. Like, how are we going to end this? Or how are we going to make this happen? I feel like it's... You guys are alike, but so different at the same time. I don't know if you're dating with an earth sign or someone who's just either so much like you or so different. It's, it's really special. This is a really special connection. Let me pick some Oracle cards. I want to know... We have Taurus, full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. That's why the hermit is here. How can you get out of your head a little bit and make a decision that will impact you in the most positive way right now? How can you be a little bit more practical and logical about this situation and not let the desires um control you 
believe in the impossible. So definitely, again, there's a feeling of I'm never going to be able to forget this person. I feel like it start with the way you talk to yourself and the way you talk about this person and this connection. It has to be kind of quote unquote fake till you make it. Um, Because I think that you could be repeating that to yourself. Like, I'm never going to be able to forget them. I don't know how I'm going to do it. They're perfect for me. They're this, they're that. I feel like it has to... There's a change of perspective that is about to happen. And I don't know how you're going to do that. But again, I think that you're going to kind of... You're going to fool your mind. Like, fake it till you make it. Again, I don't know why it's coming out so strongly for me. And it's not about having a fake attitude, anything. It's about you knowing that you have to make a really big effort to move on from this energy. Your hard work is paying off. It's not going to be easy. But when you look back at this, you're going to be really happy you did it. Again, I feel like this story is coming up so much for you, Scorpio, in the love readings because there's unfinished business and it needs to be addressed. It needs to be addressed. We have moonflower, bloom, even if no one is watching. This is all inner work. And I said it in the beginning. There is so much mystery about you and this person. And I feel like you're being really hard on yourself. Definitely hard on yourself. Again, I feel like someone made you feel like you were the bad guy in that situation. Just that isn't fair to you. And that is not okay. Um, everything that you're going through, it feels like you're suffering in silence. There's so many secrets, so many things left unsaid. How can you share with someone that you trust? Could you journal about it? Could you meditate on it? Could you move your body in a certain way and like get that shit out of you? It feels like it needs to be released. You know it. It's so present still in your life. And it's kind of blocking you to getting to the next level. There's a lot of inner work with the hermit that needs to be done. And you're still pretty much in that energy. But when we are in hermit mode, it's not about isolating ourselves. It's about doing the inner work in the present moment. You know, making sure that we celebrate the little accomplishment um journal about the days that you don't think about this person so much but i do today how did i focus more on myself what are the things that help me get out of my head a little bit you know and if you need to write a letter to this person do it if you don't want to give that letter to them, burn that letter. But there's definitely a lot of things internally that needs to come out. You need to release something. I think you know it. You might not want to accept it. It might still feel really uncomfortable with the five of wands here as center energy. But you're right there. You're about to close this chapter. And it's important you close it in a right in a good way for you, in a healthy way, because what's next is so powerful. It's a life-changing energy that's coming next. Um, and you're never going to look back. But I think that right now there is work to do in the present moment. A lot of reflecting, a lot of journaling, a lot of meditating, and a lot of communicating to the right people how you feel and don't keep that shit for yourself just don't do it i know scorpio you deal with your own stuff you don't involve other people when you're going through major change and major transformation you just do that yourself but there's a need to communicate right now to get out of your head so how can you do that okay how can you be more present Thank you so much for being here, Scorpio. And again, make sure to tune in next week for your May general reading. Take care of yourself.